Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Stefan Labossier, aka Stefan Speaks, and today I'm going to provide you with three tips on how to get your ex back. This is an extremely popular topic I see on the internet. A lot of people trying to find ways to get that person back. They feel they lost and let slip out their hands and they want to reconcile things. And so I want to give you what you're looking for. I want to help you in achieving that goal of getting your ex back. So here are three important tips if you want to make this happen. Tip number one correct the issue that led to the breakup in the first place. Listen, there's no point in trying to get your ex back if the same issue that broke you two up exists. Whether that exists within you, within them, in the dynamic of the relationship, one way or another, you have to correct and resolve that. Because even if you successfully get them back, Without fixing those things, you're going to be headed for another breakup. There's no point if you can't get to the root of the issues and correct them. So take time. And again, if it's an issue within yourself, let's say, for example, you have insecurity issues due to past relationships. Well, listen, start to get some healing. Go see a counselor, go see a coach, see someone so you can sit down and unpack these things and work through them so that when you come back, you can come back more confident, more secure within yourself, and therefore you can increase your chances of getting that person back. Tip number two is you have to find your happiness away from them. Now, that may catch you by surprise, but let me help you understand what I'm saying. I see so many people wallowing in misery trying to get their ex back and essentially trying to pity party their ex into taking them back, trying to use sympathy and I can't live without you and all these things. And listen, to a certain extent, there's nothing wrong with expressing your emotions and expressing your deep love for them, but it makes you look weak, to be honest with you. It looks bad. Who wants to be around that negativity or that that misery that you're exuding? Granted, it's stemming from the fact that you don't have them. So you may think that that may make them feel better or that may make them warm their heart, so to speak, to you. And to some degree, it can. However, when you exude positivity, confidence, happiness, it draws them to you. It makes them say, damn, maybe... Maybe I need to have them back in my life. Maybe I missed out. Maybe I made the wrong decision or we made the wrong decision. You have to give them something to desire. And so finding your happiness will create or will increase your chances of them wanting to be back with you or willing to be back with you. So don't stay focused on what you don't have. Don't stay focused on the fact that they're not with you right now. Get focused on what you can do to improve your life. And the, the, the side effect of this is that if by some chance you don't get them back, I know your, your goal is to get them back, but if you don't get them back, well, at least you would have used your time wisely and set yourself up for great things to come, whether that be continuing as a single person or when a new relationship presents itself. So work on you, find your happiness. Now, before we get to tip number three, I got to say something. And you're not going to like this, but here's the reality. You may not need to get back with your ex. The reality is that you've got to be honest with yourself about was this person truly the best person for you? Was there a genuine connection and can a healthy, happy relationship be had with them? So before you go diving into trying to find all the ways to get them back, make sure you need to get back with them. You, you should be with them. And they are someone you can move forward with in life and create a great, happy relationship. So again, I know that's not what you want to hear. That's not what you clicked on this video for. But it's my job to tell you the truth that you need to hear. And some of you don't need to get that ex back. But let's say they are that person for you. You can have a happy happy relationship with them and there is a connection. So here is tip number three. You've got to be patient. Listen, Rome wasn't built in a day. I don't know why that came to me when I, just now, but the fact of the matter is 
you've got to be willing to trust the process and the timing of things. You can't force your ex to want you or be with you when you're ready. You got to understand that they got to go through some things as well. And it may take time. But So again, refer back to number two on this list. Find your happiness in the meantime. Work on you in the meantime, but be patient. And yes, it can happen. I have seen people get back with their ex. Sometimes it takes weeks, sometimes it's months, sometimes it's years. And again, I know you don't want to hear that, but at the end of the day, if a couple years of you working on you and becoming the person you need to be would then lead for you, lead to you being with the person you've dreamed of and have always wanted, then that's worth it. It's worth it. So be patient, trust the process, and understand that great things will come as long as you keep putting in the correct work. So I hope this video helps you. Again, make sure getting your ex back is truly what's best for you. But if it is, I pray you accomplish that goal and I pray that you guys are able to have an amazing relationship. But again, focus on you, be patient, and make sure you correct the issues that led to the breakup in the first place. Thank you.